we have this stunning 32 seater cinema and we like to use that as a almost like a date night we would buy popcorn and candy and then we'd make it like an experience like it's almost like real life if that makes sense We are kept very active with our day-to-day -day jobs and responsibilities. I mean, going around all the rooms and making sure that they're in still their steam condition. We do a lot of sanitising, just to make sure everything's clean. But what we also do is we go around to each bathroom each day. We flush the loos, we let the water run in the sinks and in the baths and the showers, just to make sure that everything is flowing and working properly. If you've ever had the stress of running a bath and then going to another room and then forgetting if you've done it before, we've all experienced that. Think about that with 160 rooms and bedrooms. I think it was important from uh, management point of view and also for a community point of view that the castle was being looked after at all times. Now it would be very easy to go, we're closing up shop, we have our security team here but it's important to the building as a mark of respect to the building as well. As I said it has been here for 800 years. How many times can you say that you can come and stay in a castle in, in, in Ireland and it is, it's got this magical aura about it. People come, they stay two days, it's something you check in, you then don't leave the property. We have everything here that can accommodate you for whilst you're here with us. All the dining outlets, we see all the activities as well. But I also think it's got a lot to do with the staff. We have staff members who have been here for like 40 years. So we're very much a family and it's very, very traditional Irish hospitality, I think. We're now readying the property to welcome guests back on the 2nd of July. I've taken so many phone calls for bookings now at this point and I mean obviously we're going to have to comply with you know the new social distancing standards and the safety regulations that are going to be in place but we don't want to take away from the fact that this is meant to be somewhere where these guests are coming to have an amazing experience and to enjoy themselves. You know, once this does come to an end, we're going back to live in our, you know, in our one bedroom apartment. So we'll have to get used to that as well. But like, we'll, we'll take it as it comes. With being in a castle, of course you want a fairy tale ending. And I guess that's the way that we're going to have to look at this as, you know, we've had a great time together and we've learned a lot about our jobs, but a lot about each other as a couple. So, you know, there's always in these times of reflection, which a lot of people have had, a lot of good can come from it and a lot of good has come from it.